Hey guys, in this video, I'll share three delicious fried rice recipes that will add variety to your family menu. Yes, 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 I know it's still rice, rice, rice. Then you can tickle the taste buds of your loved ones with some tiny changes here and there. Don't forget to like this video and let me know your favorite fried rice recipe in the comments below. We start by cooking the chicken. I usually season with onions, thyme and seasoning cubes. Trust me, these are all you need to season your chicken because this is the hard chicken. It has a natural delicious flavor you don't want to suppress with too much seasoning. Allow it to steam well all over. then add some water to cover it cover the pot and start cooking while that is cooking I pre-cook the rice I like pre-cooking my rice to one make it porous for the second stage this aids better absorption of the flavor in the stock and two to reduce the starch content of the rice and a few other reasons. When happy, pour into a sieve and cool it down with water. This stops the cooking process. I have other videos where I talk about how I pre-cook my rice to perfection. I'll put the link below. The chicken is done. I'm depressurizing the pot under the tap so the chicken does not become too soft. As always, I grill the chicken in the oven. You can also defry it. For the first fried rice, these are the ingredients I'll be using. Carrots, green and red bell peppers, onions. Red onion is better, so please use it. I was shocked to find that I did not have red onions the day I was preparing this rice. I always have it at home. Cured sausage. This is what it looks like before it is cut into tiny cubes. Green peas and sweet corn. I rinsed it earlier to remove the preservatives. I sieve the chicken stock into a big enough pot. You don't want all these onions thing in your fried rice. It will make it photo photo. <laughs> yeah, it will make it mushy. Add white pepper. I will not be towing the classic route with this first fried rice, so I won't be adding curry powder. When it boils, add the sausage. This sausage bleeds some reddish color, so it will add some color to the rice, very faint tint of color to the rice. Add salt if necessary and cook till the liquid dries up. Transfer to a cool container immediately. I add the carrot here. I want the heat from the rice to soften it a bit to reduce the crunch. You can spread out the rice in a tray to cool it down faster. When the rice has cooled down completely, fry it till every single grain of ingredient gets a good fry. Use a wok, a catering service, frying pan if you need to, depending on the quantity of rice you're preparing.
served with the grilled chicken. Look at it. Congratulations. You've eaten the first plate of fried rice. Please click the like button to ginger my swagger to cook the next one. For the second fried rice, these are the veggies I'll be using. Green and red bell peppers, red onions, frankfurters, hot dogs, satis, whatever you call this and carrots. Slowly decant the chicken stock into a big enough pot. Add curry powder and white pepper. There's this subtle thing that white or black pepper brings to fried rice. I don't really like pepper in my fried rice. When it boils, add the rice we pre-cooked earlier. Then cook till the water dries up and basically repeat the process. Add the carrots to the rice and mix. When the rice cools down, you can start frying. Remember to fry it well, else na mixed rice be that to mix rice sours easily. You don't want it to go bad by the time you are serving your guests. Look at it. Have you liked this video yet? No? You mean you ate two plates of fried rice, two solid plates, and you've still not liked? It is not good though. For the third fried rice, we have green beans. This is how I prepped it. Again, carrots. Carrots always feature in fried rice. Red and green bell peppers, sweet corn red onions and kidney we normally use liver for this but sometimes liver can be boring anyway kidney was what i had in my freezer on that day and again repeat the process this time a curry powder and black pepper if you don't like pepper in your fried rice, use either white or black pepper. The pepper will be there and not there at the same time. Very subtle, yes, perfect for me. Add the rice and the kidney. The kidney is raw, but because of how tiny it's diced, it will be well done by the time the rice is done. Keep an eye on it till the liquid dries up. This time we have another crunchy ingredient. So I add the green beans with the carrots so that the heat can soften them a little bit. Just a little bit. Then spread out to stop the cooking process and help it cool down faster. and fry look at them which one is your favorite junior Baby girl, if you're watching, make sure mommy and daddy prepare at least one of these fried rice recipes for you, okay? Tell them that Auntie Flo said so. Bye-bye. See you.